What about that time when the love story rewrote you? On January 26th, Venus, our planet of love, beauty, and relationships, enters the sign of her exaltation, Pisces. I'm so happy to be leaving for maternity leave on such a high note with you all because this is such a juicy, beautiful, divine aspect to report on as opposed to some of the other ones that we've been talking about already this year. So Venus Venus and Pisces, okay, this is the place where Venus has her exaltation. So she goes above and beyond with what she's capable of doing here. So we're we're in Jupiter territory. So this is this is the kind of love that transcends, that takes us somewhere, that tells a story. This is the kind of love that people literally cross the ocean to experience. Venus in Pisces is unconditional, transcendent, blissful kind of love. This kind of love with Venus in Pisces can be a divine love. It can be a love of God, a love of the universe, a love of existence, a love that permeates every single thing. You see it a lot with people, you know, they're just on a high. They're just in love with the vibration. They're in love with everything. Like they just vibrate love. This is like a Venus in Pisces sort of energy here to be on that level. And because this is a mutable sign, we can love a lot of things with Venus and Pisces. We can love everyone. We could be, we could be polyamorous. You know, why, why put our love in a container or why, why give it all to one person when we can give it to so many with Venus and Pisces? This is a boundless kind of love. Um, and it can also be like an altruistic kind of love. A love that loves no matter what, no matter someone's faults, no matter what someone has done to me. You know, this is this is the kind of um, ideally, you know, Venus and Pisces, ideally, like a parental love for a child. Like, I love you no matter what. I, you're the best thing that has ever happened to me. Like, I will always love you is, is sort of like that ideal, right? So this is an ideal. It's Venus in Pisces describes sort of like the love that we see in movies where we're running through the rain and passionately making out. Like, that's like um, a Venus in Pisces thing. This isn't most people's every day, right? Venus is leaving the sign of Aquarius where it's like, yeah, that kind of stuff is kind of gross, actually. Like, don't don't do that to me. Don't write me love letters. Don't. I know some Aquarius energy who's like, don't compliment me. (laughs) Like, I don't like that. It makes me feel weird. Um, So yeah, Venus is coming out of Aquarius into Pisces where it's like, let's reconnect. Let's enmesh. Let's really tend the flame of that connection. Venus in Pisces might invite us to be a little sappier than normal. It might inspire us to do those more romantic gestures. And yeah, I mean... Venus will be in Pisces through Valentine's Day. So if you do partake, if you do celebrate um, for Valentine's Day, I believe, because I won't be able to talk, I won't be here to talk about it then, but pretty sure Venus will be aligning with Neptune, ethereal Neptune. So that is going to take everything I'm describing and exponential level. (laughs) So you can get real mushy. You can get real sappy. You can be swept away by the current of love. Um, so yeah, this is just one, you know, I'm talking, I'm talking like archetypally here, of course. So how do we, how do we experience this as Venus moves into Pisces? Well, we may be, we may be inspired to just take it to that next level. Like don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to be sappy. Don't be afraid to look a little foolish. Like say, say the thing that will make your partner laugh at you (laughs) because it's just so, it's just so like cutesy, right? So that, that can be what this does is it helps sort of like, it, it helps us be bitten by Cupid's arrow basically. Ideally, Venus in Pisces lets us to be broken open by love. And we can also talk about Venus in Pisces in terms of like 
inspiration, like artistic inspiration. Like this is what writes love songs and love poems and that kind of thing. So let yourself feel the love and let yourself feel it for all the people that you love and express it. You know, like I said, Venus in in Pisces has room in their heart for, for so, so many. So make sure that you express your appreciation and yeah, yeah. Let, let the music transport you, let the experience transport you, let yourself be in that vibration of love on a much more frequent basis while Venus is in Pisces. And that is your Venus in Pisces astrology shot of the day. Venus will be in this sign until I did want to tell you that until the 20th of February. So we have until the 20th of February to let ourselves be elevated and broken open by this beautiful, boundless love. So I know I'll be feeling it because I'll be holding a new baby at some point during this transit. So for now, uh, that is your astrology shot of the day. And I will see you probably from my fourth my fourth house edition of this astrology shot. I won't be at this desk, but I may pop in here once in a while throughout other various areas of my home with my kids, and you'll get a little inside peek at, at what's going on here behind the scenes. So be sure to stay tuned. And um, yeah, for now, that is your astrology shot. And I hope February is awesome for you. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today. For more astrology in your inbox, subscribe to my mailing list where you'll be the first to know when my books reopen in April when I return from maternity leave. I may not be as active on here in February and March as we welcome baby Aquarius into our family, but you can also follow along with me on all platforms at Catherine.